too early. Yeah, then I have received a 100 pack of MC4 connectors and also my broken camera clamp. I tried to super glue it, but the glue was eating into the plastic here. Well, it did not glue these two parts together again, so I had to buy a new one. Well, now I've got two of these sex toys here. I'm trying some I'm trying some new settings on the solar charge controllers and smart hunt. I hope it works. Welcome back to another episode here from the off-grid garage. Today we've got 35 amps outside and I want to increase this a little bit by installing more panels on the roof. West side roof we are. You can see I have prepared this setup already. And I've got the solar panel orientation tool here. This one has been freshly calibrated last night in person. All right, so we are now, oh shit. So we are now looking at the west roof here and I've still got this string here installed with the 72 cell panels. This will be removed today and we are going to install the sharp modules, the 215 watt sharp modules. Three of them here and three of them on the other side. Unfortunately, I haven't got enough rails to install this all today. So I will start with this side here because we've got the mounting brackets on the roof already. The, the feet are already here. So I can start here by just replacing the rails, make them longer. And then we can mount three more panels here, which would give us another 600 watts or something. Well, shading is a thing here in winter time, but not a problem. And these two strings are working pretty well. So I'm making more energy from this west roof now than from the east roof. And I know the east roof panels are 100% okay because we have tested them for quite a few months now, even to your summertime, and they perform really, really good. So do these ones here. So I'm really, I'm really keen to see how the sharp panels made in Japan are performing because all the other panels so far, they are all made in China. So let's get on to it. And I've got the rails already here, but we um, before we mount them on the roof, I need them to slide up these panels here first. So we do it the same way as in one of the last videos. And I've got the first three sharp panels already here. We can have a quick look at the label again together. So these are the specs, 215 watts, uh, 30.2 volts in the maximum power point and seven amps and you can see here they are made in japan not in china so i really see i'm really keen to find out how these ones perform i have i have cut off these round plugs here as well and mounted my uh, mc4 connectors now so they fit my system unfortunately the weather is not the super best today but that's just what it is you know cannot change the weather just the climate I also have the YFPS, whatever, charge controller installed and I'll connect my load here now. So we are discharging the battery a bit. There we go. It's an 8 amp load on the tractor battery here. And we are at 11.8, 11.7 volts now of the battery. So it's pretty low. Okay, let's get the first panel installed and start measuring. We've got the app running. Well, calibrating these tools is actually much better than using them on the panels. Oh. Good enough. It's not gonna happen. Everything is cloudy now. That's it. That was it. That's the maximum sun we will get today. I'll just put them on the roof. I think they are totally fine. They're made in Japan. What should go wrong? 
I will just connect them quickly here to see if they work at all and if they give us any power at all and then they go up in the roof straight away. I'm not mucking around today. And also the battery is full. I need to plug in the car. So I have now removed the good old Suntech string and these are the three panels out of the delivery. This was the first delivery I picked up last year before Christmas and I've never seen more than 2.5 amps out of this string here even under full sunny conditions. It is warm. <laughs> I guess I need to probably need to calibrate some solar panel orientation tools here very soon. 2.5 amps, that's it. I will test them separately on the driveway and then um, decide what to do with them. So the only problem is now that our space in between the panels is a bit too narrow. So I'm really considering of pushing these rails a little bit further this way. So I've got more gap in between the solar strings then. I really like the situation where you can actually comfortably work under these panels if you have to. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not getting more than five strings on this roof anyway here, so I probably move this one further this way. Just to give me more space here. It's so warm. Sunny hot Australia. Even if it's not sunny. Hi right, guys. I think I have to sacrifice my space here. Otherwise, I'm getting only four rows on the roof, not five. I have now measured and calculated three times, just to make sure it's all correct. And I have moved these panels already 100 mil this way. So the space in between will be only 250 millimeters. That's all I get. And then we will get five of the 60 cell panels so five strings on this roof here so i have to move the other side as well at some stage then <laughs> but not today i mean how often do i sit here in between my solar panels and have a beer right really i mean how often like four three four times a week maybe that's all so that's what i'm sacrificing easy to do There we go. Everything mounted, everything tightened. I just need to do the cables here, plug them in, and then we can measure inside the garage for polarity and voltage and see how many watts we get. Probably 27, I would guess. I need a 700 mil extension MC4, male, female, because um, yeah, well, these panels are wider than the ones before and the cable is not long enough to reach to the most negative cable down here. Oh, that's fine. I've done the same here as well. The space is not too bad. It's workable. Not as comfy as before anymore, but it's okay. It's a good sacrifice. It's number 723. 
that I'm going up or down the ladder today, just today. Okay, we are done. Everything connected. So, two, um, oh god, 250, two strings, 250 watts, and this one has 215, 215 watts. There's a reason. I had to match all these three different types brands of solar panels now. With my solar charge controller as well as with the voltage because all these strings here on one side of the roof are in parallel and they should have the same voltage. Because these ones are 220 watt panels, these are 250 watt panels and this is 215. So you probably would say, well, if you have 220 there, why didn't you put two of these strings, 215, on this side, and the 250, which have much more power, split them up, one here and the other one here. But these ones have higher voltage than these ones, and these ones have higher voltage than these ones. So I looked for the combination because we've got one solar charge controller on this side, and the other solar charge controller is controlling this side. So I had to have a look at the voltages as well to see which one's matching the best. And this is the best because we've got only 0.9 volt difference per panel now on this side and 0.8 volts on this side difference. Yes, I've got no more power here because we've got 2 times 250 watts plus 215 and I've got only 220 watts plus 215 later on on this side. So this side, the west side, west roof will be stronger. And I think I will also max out my solar charge controller with that in summertime. Because it's a 35 amp solar charge controller. And I think I will max this out. This could probably potentially deliver 38, 40 amps in summertime. So we have to see. But the Victrons, they can handle that easily because they just limit the power to 35 amps and cut off the rest. So I have to see next summertime then um, how often this will occur and then make a decision to buy a larger solar charge controller for this side or not. So in winter time, it will be totally fine. All right, let's go inside the garage and measure the polarity and also see if we get any power from this side, from these new panels then. Fingers crossed. Only one is tested. <laughs> okay, I hope we can see that. That's 88.4 volts positive, so polarity is correct. And the other strings are delivering 80 watts at the moment, 80 volts at the moment, because they are on the load. Okay, let's connect this string and see how much power it gains. Additionally, to the other two strings. Okay, so we've got the west roof here on the charge controller, 40 watts. These are the two existing strings with the 250 watt panels. And I'm connecting now the third one, which we just installed. Oh, it goes up to almost 60. That's another 20 watts, huh? That's insane. What am I doing with all this power now? Wow. <laughs> I should not connect these solar panels in the evening, in the late afternoon, when the sun is so far down already. <laughs> it's so frustrating. You're working your butts off all day long. And then the result is 21 watts again. <laughs> we'll be away tomorrow. I'll take the phone with me, of course, and I'll check tomorrow at about 12 o'clock. This is when we have no shading here on the roof. We should see an increase in power from coming from the west roof. I'm expecting around 1500 watts at this stage around for all these three strings on the west roof. This is just a prediction. I don't know. I don't know because I took the other string off the smaller one and now we put the bigger one on. I have no idea. So we will see tomorrow and then we will see what's going on. All right. Another day on the roof. 
guys as always thank you so much for all your support here on the channel for all your comments all your subscriptions and you stay charged and safe and we shall see us again in the next video coming out very soon i'll probably crack a beer now and relax and do something without solar without batteries just looking in the distance enjoying the sunset and having a beer thank you as well for all your beer donations of course this is so much appreciated thank you again guys See you then. Bye-bye.